What's up you guys? I'm Owen Holt and welcome to the Awesomeness TV's Next Influencer Season 2 Reunion Show. We're going to break down all the twists, the tea, and all the big moments from this season in the a &I house. But before we get into it, Season 2 cast, how are you guys feeling today? Good. Woo! I'm great. Woo! I'm excited. Well, it sounds like we all have a lot to talk about, so let's dive right in and take a look back at Season 2 of Awesomeness. Miss TV's next influencer. All right, so you guys walk in. What did you guys think of the house? The house was crazy. Very fancy. It was cute. It felt like I was in the forest. Like, yeah, no, it was definitely a content house. It looks like a castle, though, like the fort, like a fortress. It was cute. I've never been in something that big in my life. What about all of, like the twists that occurred in some of these games and even in the season in general? Like, this season was crazy, let me tell you. It was you. wild. I think the games were rigged. Games were rigged. Yeah, I definitely should have won a few more of those. That's called putting effort in, Michelle. You had to put effort to win. No, it's called it's called having extra accessories to help you win. That's what it's, it's called being pretty in plastic. I mean, oh, giving what it's supposed to give. You hear the prize, bro. Not right. everyone can be cute in plastic, Owen, but clearly, some can. Insert cricket noise. Come on, Ray. That's your, that's, <laughs> your, that's your line. It's giving cricket. I don't know what else to say. Like, I'm sorry that I'm cute in plastic. <laughs> that's awkward. <laughs> Again, who won the challenge? Ooh. Oh. oh. Who won the show? Silence all around. Guys, okay. So, was the experience what you expected? I mean, we're all pretty much done here. So, how was the experience? It was everything I expected and more. Yeah, it was fun. I think I and everyone learned a lot of lessons and I mean, everyone's different in their own way. And yeah, it was definitely psycho. Jake, how was your experience? It was good. I, I thought I was gonna like, I, I don't know. I didn't really know what to expect. I, I, I <laughs> what am I saying right now out loud? I <laughs> Jake just did not want to be in the drama. That's the biggest <laughs> thing. Jake just did not want to be in the drama. That's the first thing he told me. I thought there was going to be way less drama, you guys. I thought there was going to be way more. Maddie, you started half of the drama. What? Yeah, Maddie. You started half of the drama. No, what I'm trying to say is I've never- Who was the first one, who was the first one of the house to be problematic? <laughs> Michelle. She's right there. Do you think I cry about everything? Yeah, I think you kind of do. You said About what? I like you cry? No, not like metaphorically. Like you sit and whine and you call and talk to everybody. About what I'm saying is, I I'll admit I've never been that problematic in my whole life. I don't know. You guys brought it out of me. You guys brought it out of me. Guys, I'm gonna be honest. I had to beg Jake to stay on the show. Like he was trying to leave like the first two days, and I had to beg him to stay because he did not want to do the drama. Jake, if you would have told me you were trying to leave, I would have walked out with you. <laughs> no, Jake was like ace. Like I actually can't do it. And this is hey, this is when Eddie like was not on good terms with Jake because he did not want him in our room. So Jake was like, dude, like I just want to leave. Yeah, let's talk. Eddie about that. was Eddie, goes, Eddie was so Eddie goes, pissed. I think I went to four different rooms before I finally found my roommates. Eddie and Ace. Dude, are you really dropping? Bro, it, I don't have a good grip. Me and Ace honestly thought it was just gonna be us two together, but then Jake comes. You're really putting the third bed in here. I'm kind of pissed. I am. I expected me an ace. I told Eddie, I was like, Eddie, I have to come in your guys' room. And Eddie goes, you're going to have to talk to my boy Ace about that. <laughs> <laughs> Eddie was so pissed. Oh, dude, I was like, Jake, no, we should have just cuddled small. together. <laughs> I was like, this room is small. I was like, it's going to be me and my boys. Like, what if we have secrets, if we want to do alliance, then we got to bring this kid with us. But hey, Jake, I, after that first night, yeah, it was. No, I'm, I'm glad Jake was in our room. Hey, but Ace, thank you for um, convincing me to stay. You're good, yes, good guy. Yes, Jake, we did it together. I feel like Ace and Eddie's room was like the chill spot. Everyone like yeah. went to. Yeah. When it everyone was, 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 it it was, was the last thing from chill. I tried yeah, to sleep, you guys. let's not talk about it. Everyone, Next we're question. moving on. One of the biggest twists from the season came on your first night when we were having date night. And Coley walks in from season one. Okay, let's just take a look at that clip. Let's roll it. Hold on, oh Matt, it seems like you don't really have anyone in front of you. Uh, I wonder why that is. What? What? Oh, oh my God, I heard something, I heard something. That doesn't make sense. Well, well tell us, what's up? Where I don't know. Oh, win. 
Oh no. The entrance looks cute. What? What? Why is it? Why is it so sad? Guess who's back? You already know, Coley's back. Better than ever, and I'm ready to win. It's Coley. I knew it. Nicole, Coley. Nicole, Coley. I know. I came back. Okay, we about to have a fun ride. Just don't be annoying. It seems like you all know Coley from season one of Next Influencer. I, you already know, sugar packet time. I gotta get ready because these people are boring, so. Ow. Coley will be here joining us for the remainder of the season. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. I don't think I can do this with her here because she is the most annoying person I know. Michelle, Michelle, you what do you me. think about Coley being here? Well, now it's coming at me. I mean, yeah, hey, full center attention. Say what you got. I mean, I don't know. Someone likes to copy my TikTok videos. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Someone likes to copy my TikTok I videos. Pick my TikTok <laughs> videos. <laughs> what did you guys think about Coley coming back? I didn't even know who she was. <laughs> yeah. It's all good. <laughs> I uh, saw it on Michelle's face, though. So. I think I told Ace um, Acres. I was like, look at her face. Michelle was not having it. Coley, I was happy. I was excited. Coley, did you expect Michelle to be in the house when you walked in? And then did you expect to be involved in the first drama moment of the season? I mean, it's next influencer, a bunch of teenagers in a house. I've been through this before. I expected the worst. So yes, I expected it. And did I expect Michelle to be there? I did not, but you know, surprise. And um, I didn't know anyone there. So it was super cool to see new faces. But of course, like I knew I was in for a ride. That's true, Coley. And Michelle, right off the bat with the arrival of Coley, you found yourself diving head first into all sorts of drama. I didn't go head first into the drama. Oh, and you're the one that got the drama out of me. If you don't remember asking me, Michelle, how do you feel about this? All you guys got the drama out of me. Don't blame it on me. I was minding my own business. I was minding my own business until you had to go, you had to get up all in my business. I was chilling. That's just because I saw your face when Coley walked in. I'm sorry, what do you expect me to smile and cheese? Michelle, you made it, your face just spoke for everything. Michelle, I don't want to put words in your mouth and thankfully I don't have to. Um, let's roll the clip. She copied my TikTok word for word, captioned everything, and then was arguing me on like in the comment section saying she didn't steal it. And I was like, girl, the proof is right here. Are you having fun? <laughs> no, I wasn't. Oh, God. Now I'm a little annoyed that you're here, but I mean, I guess I'll be fine. You're good. You're good. She dislikes Coley, and you're hanging out with her, and she liked you. Don't oh. talk shit about me. Like, I, I, was I wasn't talking shit about you. I'll say it to I your face. I you. I I, yeah, you were in the bushes. I'm well aware. I have not seen Michelle this mad, and I'm kind of scared of her right now. I don't go into your room and touch your shit. No, so don't go into mine. I'm really fake as Um, I'm not going this day. Eddie's being a little so what I'm not happened? doing this What happened? She scares the out of me. You scared me, bro. You, <laughs> Michelle, you were just snapping on people, girl. <laughs> you guys think I'm problematic? Did you see that? That's not me, you guys. <laughs> About you right now. Guys, I'm gonna read some actual comments left on this video. Is that okay? All right, here we go. Michelle is literally so annoying. She's always jealous and problematic for no reason. She's basically the Valeria of season two. Oh, oh Valeria's a badass. I'll take that as a compliment. Valeria's sexy. Thank you. Okay, cute. Maddie, what did you think about Michelle this season? Michelle, <laughs> I'm gonna be nice to you. Um, I thought she was a bitch at first, I'm not gonna lie. I literally thought she was the biggest bitch ever, and now I love her. So, there you go. Yeah, I love Maddie. Maddie's my little boo thing, my little New York girl. I love everyone here, except for... <laughs> <laughs> what did she say? <laughs> Does it look like I give a f Because I don't. Not to me, no, not what did Michelle me, say? Like she don't have the balls to say it again, Maddie. I'm sorry, girl. Yes, she does. Say that it, Michelle. Happen. I don't like you. I don't like you either, Raven. Okay, I'm just gonna and put that no out there. No one here likes you. Okay, and? No one here okay, you. and? Okay, and? Exactly, okay, and? Come up with something else, baby. I was baby. just stating that I didn't like you. Everyone asked me to repeat what I said. I was just saying I didn't like you. Okay, and? You want me to write an essay on why? <laughs> <laughs> yes, go ahead. I would love to see your reasons. I'll give you MLA format and all. Oh, I would appreciate it. Thank you. 
Make sure you indent it as well. Don't forget to put sincerely your old roommate, Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> or I'll, I'll get the work cited and everything. Guys, 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 there's plenty of more drama to get into later, but there is just so much more that goes into this competition. I want to talk about one of my favorite parts of this season, which is the challenges. So let's roll the clip. Welcome to the A&I Mansion. Let's welcome you with a splash. Everyone suit up and meet your host in the challenge zone. Where's the challenge zone? <laughs> your first word is clout. Ready, set, go! It's going crazy. Everyone's going picking balls, picking balls. Get out of the frame, girl! Maddie! Should we do a maternity photo? The next one is the mop dance. Ma, 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 ma. Maddie's <laughs> cheating. Oh we lost because of her. Grab the pit. Grab the thing so you can put it on there. They're going at it like Picasso, and they need to be doing Sherwin Williams. Matt. Like, dump that. Oh, I can't man. believe y'all threw that challenge. Y'all, so, you know what? I call this outfit the shaking jig. The shaking jig. Okay. We look good. <laughs> Couple goals. Couple goals. Thirst trap. Oh, and then that one might have been another thirst trap. Just be a man. Oh my god, dude! So Stop sexual. it! This is the stupidest thing I've ever done. Oh my god, this one's stuck. Um, Selena Gomez. Wait, do you know who these are? No, I have no clue. What is the Wi-Fi? Jake over here is like taking his oh, time, no, like, no, one no. by one, like Jake! Should I eat it? No, absolutely not. No, 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 I wasn't even swimming and I felt like I was in a non-foot pool. Damn. And scene. Jake, what were you thinking eating those noodles? Not Dude, the noodles. the noodles were so gross. No, I was hyperventilating. What were you doing, Jake? That was in Coley's mouth, and you picked it up on the floor and ate it. Eddie, we should have won that noodle challenge. We should have. Yeah, we could. We, we, me and Eileen played the game right. We swallowed it right there, and we didn't just shove it in our mouth. No, no, you didn't. I saw you yes, throw I that. Did. Oh, yes, no, I did. No, you didn't. Don't even no. talk about not mm -hmm. swallowing those no, noodles. Because I did. swallowed those noodles and I'm traumatized from uh, oh, it. Don't you shut the f up. <laughs> I'm kidding, Michelle. Do you guys have like a favorite challenge from this season? I like the diss track one. Yeah. You know you want to be with us. Don't give them all your trust. Stab you in the back. Sweep you up like some dust. Baby Eileen, this ain't your scene. Come eat with us. Your team is trash. They can't compete with us. I'm going to have to disagree. You should have won. What do you think, Eileen? Um, that was probably like the worst challenge ever. My lines were fire. My lines were the reason my uh, group Yeah. Oh, yeah, they were. I forgot. Yeah, what's his face? Curtis loved my lines, even though my group partners didn't want to put them in. No, I talked to Curtis the other day. I said we should have won. No, honestly, I thought the other teams was better. I thought the other teams was a lot better, and I thought their music video was better. The only good part about my teams was my verse, so... Um, let's be let's be real for five seconds. Your guys' video was obviously well put together. You guys did really good job. Like I'm not gonna rain on your guys' video, but like the lines were just not it. Like ours were just coming at your guys' necks, and you guys couldn't handle one. You guys still couldn't handle one. No, but Eddie and Ace did look really hot in your guys' video. Are you trying to say I look bad, Michelle? Wait, Michelle, wait, Michelle, go first. I want to hear you compliment. No, Eddie just heard what I said. He just wants me to to repeat it. <laughs> Yeah, I do. Go ahead. <laughs> Eddie and Ace looked really hot in their video, so I don't know. That Ace speaking, were we top's liver? Why? Because Michelle said only Ace and Eddie looked good in our video. Well, were you shirtless, Jake? Last time I checked, you weren't shirtless. We yeah, were. We were. We were. All of us were. Okay, well, all you guys are hot. Wait, what were your... Do you think that the other team had, like, a good diss track? Or do you think theirs was just, like, no, nothing compared to your video at all? No, they definitely had a really good diss track. I said this on the show um, that I think they sounded like sound wise better, like a song, um, like musically wise, they sounded better. But I mean, baby, look at the evidence. Now, every challenge has its winners and losers, but two creators in the a &I house seem to have an easier time staying at the top than everyone else. <laughs> Raven Rave is my show. I'm so excited. I so, always go over to Raven. This is one of the fakest damn alliance there was. If I have to get my hair wet to pick my roommate, Ray, I got you. Michelle, you have shade spelled correctly and have won this competition. Look at this girl! Oh, it's oh. Michelle and I are running to get our room. We found the biggest one, the cutest one, and it has the most mirrors, so you already know. The photo that gave the most. Oh my god. 
Miss Rain. Oh my God! Oh! Rain is winning today. She's winning. She's on fire. Michelle is honestly just as competitive as I am, so there's absolutely no chance we're not gonna win. Okay, three, two, one, go. Okay, okay. I put my queen rave, of course, because she is my bestie. I'm gonna give Michelle a little bump up to first. Rave and Michelle. So this is my second challenge win, and also I've been ranked first in the rankings now, back to back. Rave and Michelle, unstoppable. Rave! This is what I'm telling you right now. The fact that when I'm not trying, I still beat you, that's a problem. So I just wanna know, Rave was sweeping the competition, and then when you guys decided to switch things up, was it to give yourself a better chance at winning the game, or was it something against Rave? I mean, at first it was more like, you know what, she deserved it, but, at, but as time went on, it was, as, as time went on, it was just like, she, that she's winning, like we're just giving it to her. Like we gotta do something to like not make this challenge so easy for her. And it wasn't even the fact that she was just winning. It was just like her personality, like her character. No, but it wasn't. No, Ace, it, it, it wasn't. Oh. It, it wasn't. It I'm not gonna disagree. The fact that I was winning. No, it was no. Uh, no. It wasn't that. It wasn't her attitude didn't change until she started losing. So let's just say that. You know that that's when that's when everybody switched. Yeah. Up. That's when I'm gonna have to agree so with no. I'm gonna agree and with that's Eileen. When she her up. There's no game to f up, baby. I was done after like episode four. I just didn't do anything. Yeah, after you started losing. I literally stopped playing when I won a challenge, so. Guys, give me an opportunity to talk about Rave's confessionals. Like, please. Okay, Maddie. Rave, you're fake as fuck. You're conceited as fuck, And you made me out to be a And I don't have time to read comments from your fans calling me a pushover and a pick me girl. I can't, I'm not doing it. That's not who I am. That's, that's she knows awesome. this though. Well, I'm sorry you feel that way, Maddie. No, but everybody's like, Maddie won't say something to her face. Maddie won't say something to her face. Here I am. I'm saying it to her face. Do you do it. Do it. Like, no. I can do it. I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to take me, girl. I'm not naive and I'm not stupid. That's what I got to say. I would really like to hear what Rave's perspective is on this because I feel, I feel deep inside because I feel like people are gonna disagree with me. I feel like Rave is just a nice girl. I feel like she's nice. But I just feel I like she put way. this, I feel like she put this persona up. Just for the show. Something, somebody that she wasn't, yeah, because I feel like Rave is a good person. I feel. I, I thought feel. so too. I thought so too. I grew to love Rave. Like I still, but then watching the show back, I was like, what the f Exactly, me too. I feel like obviously we were all thrown off. You can tell even right now she's trying to put on this like, uh, uh, they're all talking about me. I feel so good. I signed up for a competition game show. Therefore, when I went on the show, walked into the house, like walking in, right? I'm going for a competition. Oh, and I don't know, some competitions, there's multiple people to win. I'm not playing for other people. Some people did beyond me. I came in to win for myself. There's only one winner. I'm not going, like, if I could, I would have dragged some people along. That's one thing. There's only one winner. So I'm not going to play for other people. I'm not going to go do that. Like, no, I'm going to go play for myself. Again, it's a game show. This is Monopoly. You go in, you sit there, and you, you're not, you're not actually a cat. When your character, you move around the board, you're not actually a cat. You're not the hat. You're not a shoe. But if you got to do a little, like, oh, I'm going to get some money from somebody on the Monopoly board, or I'm going to go get somebody's um, token, I'm going to do that. You're gonna do that because what are you gonna do? You wanna win. Now some people, sure, they came on the show, they didn't wanna win. Good for them, not me. I feel like there's could have been other ways that it could have went down though. Yeah. I feel like, I feel like you could have played the game and but still been a nice person and not drag everybody it's else. It's the way I still was a nice person. Not to me. Not, Michelle, but this is the thing. You, you said it, hold on Michelle. Me. You no, said you it to yourself. No, you you, you throughout the you whole game, I was nice to you and you were chilling, whatever. So therefore I was nice to you. Can you let me? Talk. You were nice to me in person, but then you ran and ran your mouth behind cameras. You didn't have to do That's that. That's what a confessional is, Michelle. Uh, you didn't have to do anything behind cameras. You didn't have to do that. I was nice to you the whole show. I didn't do anything wrong. You're too. right. So like, for what reason? I was still, I was still gonna rank you first. You didn't have to go and talk to me behind cameras. It's not, no it's not necessarily worth no talking. If you took if it that way, thought, that's on you. You, thought I was you, obsessive, you saw me as your ride or die. If you thought I was obsessive in your sidekick, you could have told me that in person. You had a loyalty to me that I did not have to you at the end of the day. It was always giving, oh, my girl, Michelle. I'm ranking my girl, Michelle. You know my yeah, girl, she would Michelle. Yeah, like, my girl, Michelle, my girl, Michelle. Well, damn, stop being two-faced. End of conclusion is, you had a loyalty to me. 
that I didn't have to you, and I, you, I didn't owe you a loyalty, I didn't owe you anything. She wanted to play villain. She wanted to play villain. She said that multiple times. It's a game. It's a G-A-M-E. Yeah, but you don't have to be a Owen, can we run the definition of game? You listen Competition. to yourself talk. Can we talk. run those definitions, listen please? Listen to yourself talk. You're just not a nice person. Okay, and that's your opinion. And opinions are wrong. Yeah, she, so I know okay. deep down. I know deep down that you are a nice person because I lived with you for two weeks. And I knew you, I know you are a nice person. So I don't know why you act like this in front of cameras and go behind scenes and act mean. This is the yeah. thing. If I was so nice on camera, right? All the time of the show. And now you're claiming I'm mean. We're, there's nothing that changed. Yeah, there's Either a lot that Either A, you're delusional, or there's B, you're delusional. I, behind the cameras when you're running your mouth about Okay, me. can we move on because this, yeah, talking about how fake she is is really annoying. While winning challenges can certainly give you a leg up in the competition, the bonds you form with other creators in the house can really make or break your chances of being crowned the winner of this season. And if you're not cautious about who you trust, the whole game can flip on its head in an instant. So nobody really knows this, but me, Ace, Eddie, and Rave all have an alliance. It's our little LA squad. Eddie and Michelle have an alliance. Eddie and Ace last too. We're all ranking them last. Okay. Michelle, I think she trusts me a lot more than I trust her, which is always good. You wanna be on the upper hand, you wanna be in the power stand because she'll always pick me for the top, even if she's not necessarily my top pick. We got figure out a way to get her lower. Like, what if all of us and Jake brings her last, and maybe I can even talk to Coley. The way Eileen's just in the bush. My nosy ass. <laughs> if you do an alliance, it's just gonna switch up. Literally, like, do you know what I mean? I was so down to rank Rave last, and then she found out about it, and I felt and so still bad about her last, it. Maddie. Actually, you now I'm not gonna rank you last, like, I promise. <laughs> of course, I'm gonna put me and Michelle on the team. She's kind of obsessed, so, yeah. She's like a perfect, like, sidekick. How do I say? You had an alliance with them? Oh, Are you admitting you had an alliance? But realistically, who has a big chance on winning? And you do. Yeah. Now that I see that the whole house is on our side, we just have to implement this. The math just doesn't add up if you claim you're ranking me high when you clearly aren't. All right, guys, so Ace Acres and Eddie, you guys really tried to make alliances, but why didn't you follow through on episode three? Okay, Eddie and Michelle confused me the whole show. I, I had no idea what was going on there. They were off and on the whole time. I was, through, <laughs> I was listening to Eddie the whole time. I would have been close, really close with Michelle, but like, Eddie would come in every day saying something new, you know? Like, yeah, they were Eddie's just off and on. Mouth. Dude, I gotta tell my boy. I get, so, hey, like, I'm, I don't I'm know. It was just kind of weird on that part. All the challenges and everything, I would literally go to Ace and he'd be like, yo, what happened today? I'd be like, F you, because I'm the only one getting in all this And it was always me. So Jake and Ace were always just chilling, bro. Me and Jake would be in there and Eddie would come in and just go off on everyone. Yeah. <laughs> I would talk about everybody. We're like, Eddie, Eddie, fill us in. And then Eddie would be like, guys, you cannot leave me. And we're just like... I don't know what to tell Eddie, you. Eddie was just obsessed with Ace. Eddie loved the drama. I remember you would tell me, he'd be like, I want to start drama. I want more screen time. No, yeah, Eddie! Eddie! Eddie. What the f no, you were the uh, first one to say I, I hated I drama. Text. I'll put you on blast, bro. Don't be starting that shit. I never asked for screen time. No, you guys just always drag me in. Yes, I never did. wanted that shit. Yes, I you know did. I'm hot and good looking, but you won't catch me doing no screen time. I'm not pulling a Coley here and fake crying for shit. <laughs> no. Yes! Yes! yes. You, you, won't won't go. Go. you won't catch Thank me. Thank you. You won't catch me. I'm sorry, Coley, but Say I'm whatever not you want. Don't on worry. This I'm not getting flamed. Sorry, Coley, okay? You guys are all oh good. Oh my God, I'm sorry I had to let that out. It didn't come out of my mouth. If I'm glad somebody else Don't be said. doing this, Michelle. We said we gonna roast everyone else. Now that a winner is crowned and all of the episodes are out, are there any secret alliances that were just never aired that you guys just want to start spilling? Is I feel like towards the end, we kind of had like a little, uh -huh. it wasn't even an alliance. It was just kind of, Avery and I began to like like each other a lot and we would just rank each other. Huh? Same with same with me and Maddie. All these cheaters, Jesus. Matt, Matt, why are you being so quiet, bro? Come on, what was, I haven't heard Matt. I haven't heard Matt, Coley, or Jake. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm spying again. Where's the other AirPod, Matt? Okay, can we, 
Can we clear up? We do not hate Matt. No one yeah. here hates Matt. We, 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 we stand Matt. While he might not have seemed like a force to be reckoned with in the house, this creator was a fan favorite this season. I'm talking about the witty, the sassy, the possible super spy, Matt. Let's take a look. I'm Matt Taylor. I'm from Oklahoma, unfortunately. If you know, you know. It's awful. Never have I ever had a crush on someone in the house. Oh, I love real. this. Oh, Come on. I don't know where I'm going to be. I feel like I've been so quiet. People are just going to be like, I'll oh, put him at the bottom. We'll see, though. Oh, my God. Look at, look at Matt. Look at Matt. He's messy. I'm just trying to watch from a distance and I need them to enunciate. I'm trying to hear what they're talking about. He's like, yeah, I'm just writing down everything that's happening. And I was like, I walk out and I'm like, oh. And he kept talking about it. I'm like, I'm like, I'm right here. Whenever there's drama, Matt. he fights. He only has one I love you, Matt. In. So I know what he's doing. He's trying to see, <laughs> like, like you know what I mean, what we're saying. Matt is one of my closest friends. That's me and Matt are always <laughs> hanging out and like, just spying on the drama. So, spy things. If you ever want to listen in on a conversation, basically take your phone, take the AirPod, listen into the room, period. That easy. It makes me sound like a spy, but I still knew nothing. Is that copyrighted? Sorry, Disney. <laughs> we love you. This mother <laughs> admitted to being the AirPod spy! I knew you were spying on us. I the never AirPods. did it though. I knew how to do it, but I never Matt did it. Matt was definitely joking. He never like spied on anyone. Matt, did you have a strategy? I mean, I didn't win, so if I was spying, I didn't do very good. Well, we did see you start to get like a little bit more involved towards the middle of the season. So, is there anything that kind of changed? I feel like I knew everybody better towards the middle. So it was like easier. Mm -hmm. It was a lot of work in the beginning. Matt, you weren't the only person in our comment section that the fans were obsessed with. We're gonna take a look at some of our favorite comments in a segment that I like to call comment commentary. Okay, Bob Room. So Joseph asks, ha ha ha, and this is in all caps. Why isn't anyone talking about how Eddie looks like Dixie D'Amelio though? <laughs> what the fuck? Bro, I get those comments all the time. Literally in my TikToks, I get DMs, you look like Dixie D'Amelio. I'm like, I am brown. She is Caucasian. What are we doing? Everyone says it's a nose and eyebrows, but I mean, my eyebrows are way better than Dixie. Sorry, Dixie, if you're watching. The next comment was from Deviani, and she says, I feel like Jake is the most unproblematic person. He is so kind and friendly. And I think we can all agree on that, guys, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Thanks, guys. Love you all. I love you more, Jakey. Jake, how are you? How are you feeling since being out of the house? Just like overall. I feel a breath of fresh air. I've never like shared a room with anyone before. <laughs> I don't know. It was just crazy. I get that. I feel like it was super stressful in the beginning. <laughs> yeah. No, me, Matt. We even talked. Me and Matt even had talks outside too. We're like, I, I don't know if I can do this. Yeah, we we're about to sneak out the second day. We were just gonna leave. So Inga asks, Matt deserves more screen time. He literally carries the whole show. Matt carried the comedy. Matt's hilarious. No, literally the only reason people watch this show is for Matt. A dead ass. <laughs> I feel like Eileen had a good point though. Because everybody was like, why am I last? But it's honestly just because I like was not there as much. We didn't hate you. It was just that, I mean, I wasn't close to you, so either I didn't see myself ranking you hard. I mean, I feel like everybody else can agree. Like, we were ranking the people that we liked. All right, and then the last comment is from Allison, guys. Listen up. Allison asks, when will y'all address what Coley said about Eileen? Right now. We can make that public. I go out there, and me and Maddie are like, okay, so why were you to, like, uh, Michelle, what did she do? And he's like, she's so Fake, bro. Like, literally, she's a. B I was just trying to have a fun date, and he's like, I upgraded. I'm like, to a fat. B yeah, you did. I was like, okay, well, you kind of downgraded. Now you're with a. Not even like downgrade, upgrade, because it was never like a. Like no, it was supposed to be a joke. So, Coley and Eileen, I, I want this conversation, can I make guys. Something clear? No, 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 no Maddie, something? hold on, Maddie, one second. At first, I want Coley and Eileen to just have a conversation with no one interrupting. Is that okay, guys? Can we all do that? Yes. <laughs> So, um, I, Eileen, I've, I've apologized to you privately, but I want to apologize to you publicly as well for what I said. Not the fake news, come on. I called you a terrible term, fat, B-I-T-C-H, which I'm, I, I can't believe I said it. The day before, something traumatizing happened to my family, and it really took a mental toll on me for the rest of the week. 
And that night when I said that, I pulled all the anger out of me and I put it out on you. And I'm really sorry for saying that because number one, I've dealt with eating disorders. I mostly lived in a place where, you know, they help you eat and all that stuff in for like most of my childhood. So I really don't forgive myself for what I said. And I am so sorry. Of anything, I'm jealous of you. You have the nicest ass ever, beautiful face, perfect body, and like all the boys obviously were going after you. Everyone was obsessed with you. I was obsessed with you. And honestly, I've been getting the worst death threats, all this stuff. I'm banned on TikTok and I deserve it. I really do deserve it. And I put my anger out on you and I regret what I said right away. And I am so sorry, Eileen. I am so sorry. Whew. Coley, deep down inside, I feel like you you are sorry. I feel like you did realize that you up. I feel like you did, you, you understand what you did and you took accountability for that. I, yes, I get it. You gave me this apology that says, I'm sorry, but this happened to me too. And that's not my problem. And I'm sorry, but I'm getting death threats and that's not my problem either. I'm sure you are sorry and I'm sure you are getting all this hate and stuff and I wouldn't wish that upon anybody, but I just feel like there was other ways of apologizing to me in a more sincere way because I feel like your, your apology wasn't sincere. And I mean, just the way that you even told me not to post anything on social media. Let's not make this, um, let's not make this a big deal on social media. You kind of just like, manip not manipulated me, but you, you try to make me, like don't post on social media. Let's not make this a big deal. Um, your feelings, but I'm sorry. You know what I mean? And it's, it, that's, that wasn't a way I was expecting to be apologized to. Um, but again, I mean, I said I accept your apology. Yes, I know. I feel like you understand that you f***ed up. I just feel like there was different ways that you could have apologized to me. For sure. Yeah, you know? no, I, t I totally agree with you. And I, I totally, like like I said, um, I was just trying to give you ways, like uh, all the body, like the eating stuff. I was just trying to say of all people, I'm like f mad at myself. Like, I don't think I'll ever forgive myself. And for the apology part of it, I'm going to be honest, for the last couple of well, or whatever, whenever I said it, the last two months or last month, um, I've been back home because it it's not the hate that's been getting to me. It's not the death threats, whatever. I just wanted to include that. Um, it's that I said that and that I was able to say that to a person is that what hurt me. But when I was typing out the apology, I was having a f***ing big panic attack and I literally voice memoed whatever I said. And I honestly should have gone over it a couple of times. I wish I could just read it to you guys. I wouldn't I wouldn't do that, but I just, so you guys can see where I'm coming from. A select of people here know how her apologies go and that was just how I felt like her apology was. It was just like, I'm sorry that I did this to you, but this also happened to me. Like, I just don't feel like that's how an apology should go. Yeah, I understand. But, um, you definitely, you definitely no. took it. You definitely took it like that, as in like, sympathy for me trying to be like oh but feel bad for me feel bad for me i see how you took that and i'm i'm so sorry you took it that way and you should probably learn from this that that's not how you um apologize to somebody oh, no. and no and another thing is just that i it's kind of hard to believe you too because you also blamed it on production that you called me that so like although like you you know you it came out of your mouth you blamed it on half of the people there that yeah for sure you were told to say yeah so it's just i don't know what well, to believe i'm just Look, Coley, I'm not, I'm not upset that you called me fat. I've had so many, I've had a whole um, episode on my show based around my body image. Yes, I'm insecure. You know, I've had this before. This has been something that I struggled with for a long time. And I'm not surprised that you called me fat because I'm insecure. I like, I see it, I know it. And it's just, the only thing is that it's embarrassing to be called fat in front of a lot of people for other people to see. And for other people, you know, it's just embarrassing. And I feel like if, if you were a better person on the inside, that would have never even came out of your mouth. Unfortunately, that's all the time we have for today. But don't worry, because there is so much more A&I reunion to come. All episodes are out right now for you to binge. So make sure you subscribe to Awesome Miss TV so you don't miss part two of our next influencer reunion show. We can't talk about this session without taking a look at our resident flirt, Eddie. We talked about this already. Next question. About what? About me? What? I'm not I'm Eileen. What are you talking about? Oh no, I don't give a All I'm saying is that you don't follow us on Instagram and all of that. Stop saying we're best friends. I'm literally closing my laptop and leaving. I'm not doing this.